Hi guys doing today in today's video we're going to be showcasing how to get Suyu on your devices now if you guys didn't know Yuzu used to be the switch go to emulator until Nintendo filed a lawsuit now Yuzu does not exist anymore so here comes Suyu to replace Yuzu so in this video we're going to showcase how you can actually install this if you guys were interested in installing this emulator on your devices so if that's something you guys were interested make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel let's get right into this video so to get so the first thing you're going to need to do is just open up a web browser. I have my Microsoft Edge here and I'm going to post this link in the description, but you guys are going to need to come here and download this. So once you come here, you're going to see Suyu for Windows. You're just going to hit it and it's going to download right here. So after that's done, you want to open up the folder where you download it at. So I'm just going to come here. I'm going to go to download and you're going to want to extract that folder. So here it is right here so i'm just going to hold it like this and i'm going to go to extract all so after you extract it you're going to see the folder here you're just going to want to open it right here and you're going to want to double click the suyu application right here so once you double click it it should just install it for you so after it installs you're going to see it open up suyu like you've seen right here Again, this looks exactly like Yuzu, so you guys should be familiar with this if you guys have used Yuzu. Next, you're gonna need to import your ROMs, your keys, and this also requires a firmware, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So in order to access the Suyu folder, all you have to do once it's open, go to File here, and you're going to open up Suyu folder. So here's where you place the keys, the product key and the title key. So now I can show you guys how to get this, but it's pretty simple, just open up Google Search, type switch, emulate the key, keys and you should be able to get the product key and the title key so once you do that you just need to put it in this folder here called keys next you're gonna need to download the switch firmware again I'll post that in the description as to where you can download it but once you download it it should have a folder next thing you want to do with that is you want to extract the folder and then you want to come here and you want to install the firmware and so here I have it in my download I should have something called new folder which is what I extracted it to but it should be firmware you can't just pick the firmware you have to extract it I extracted mine to new folder so all I have to do is just open up the new folder select folder and it should just install it like you see in the install here I'm going to cancel it because I already have it installed so once that's all said and done you can then import your games how you do that's pretty simple you're going to add a new game directory here and then what you want to do next you just want to choose a folder where all of your roms are so i have mine here switch so all i have to do is just open this up i already selected it just hit select folder and all your games should pop up like you see right here finally the next thing that you need to do is if you want the controllers to work if you want to use your devices controller the rg controller or the legion go controller come to config here go to controls here and make sure that you have the Xbox One controller zero here. So it's going to be on keyboard originally. So make sure you pick the Xbox One controller O and hit OK here. So once that's all said and done, you should be good to go. Next, if you want to play a game like Smash Bros, you can just open it up and you should be good to go. So here is Smash Bros running on here. As you can see, the controller is working pretty well on here. And we can just get right into playing Smash on your device as well so this is quite impressive if you guys do want to run the switch emulator on here it's pretty easy to set up and i hope this video was helpful for you guys let me know if it was helpful in the comments below appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one till next time peace out